Cryptocurrencies are entirely digital in nature. They have no physical presence and only exist as code within a blockchain. As a result, some people believe they aren't worth anything. However, this is not how pricing works. Cryptocurrencies, like stocks, commodities, and securities, are trading assets. Their price is decided by how much interest there is in buying them on the market. This is called demand, and how much is available to buy. This is called supply. The fee is determined by their relationship. If there is a high demand for a certain coin, but the available supply is limited, the price rises. Overbought refers to when the demand for coins surges regardless of the currency's genuine value. Alternatively, if a large quantity of a coin is sold for no apparent cause, it is said to be oversold. Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Trends. In today's video, we'll answer one of the most often asked cryptocurrency questions, what determines the value of a cryptocurrency? So, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. How does cryptocurrency work, and how is its value determined? To understand this, we must first grasp how a cryptocurrency differs from a fiat currency. The most significant distinction is that a fiat currency is supported by governments and declared legal tender. Its worth is derived from the fact that two parties in a transaction place their faith in it. The majority of countries have a fiat currency system, in which central banks and monetary reserves manage the supply of money, and thus indirectly control inflation. Governments do not regulate cryptocurrencies. They are decentralized. The majority of countries have yet to adopt them as legal tender. Cryptocurrencies will also generally have a fixed supply, making inflationary devaluation improbable. Apart from that, they share comparable qualities. Both can be used as a medium of exchange to purchase goods and services and have a relative store of value. So, what factors influence the value of a cryptocurrency? Let's explore. Factors that determine the value of a cryptocurrency. Node count. The number of nodes that are connected to a cryptocurrency network is a useful indicator of its value. A node count is a measurement of how many active wallets there are on the network, and it is something that can be looked for on the internet or on the homepage of a currency. One can look for the node count and the total market capitalization of the cryptocurrency in question, and then compare those two indications with the values of other cryptocurrencies in order to determine whether or not the price of the currency in question is reasonable. Supply and Demand of Cryptocurrencies The law of supply and demand is an economic theory that examines the relationship between the supply and demand for a specific commodity or service to see how it affects its pricing. The idea describes the price variations of anything that can be traded on a market. When a coin is in short supply, or there is a significant demand for it, the price rises. Those who want to purchase it are eager to compete by providing ever-increasing prices. Alternatively, if a cryptocurrency is plentiful and demand is low, its price falls. In general, the rule of supply and demand predicts that when demand for something increases, suppliers will produce more of it. Manufacturers are willing to increase output in order to sell larger amounts and profit from increased sales. But it is difficult with most cryptocurrencies for two simple reasons. They have a limited supply and are distributed. The maximum supply sets the total number of each cryptocurrency that will ever exist. In the case of Bitcoin, that figure is 21 million. Over 19 million BTC have already been mined, with the remainder gradually being added to the total Bitcoin supply pool. But couldn't the protocol be changed to release additional coins? The short answer is no. An individual who intended to exploit the system by twice spending coins simply couldn't do so on a distributed network unless they were ready to spend far more money than they would gain. Mass Adoption when a currency is used by a significant portion of the population, its value often skyrockets. This is due to the fact that the entire supply of the vast majority of cryptocurrencies is finite, and therefore a rise in demand results in a direct increase in price. But in order for cryptocurrencies to finally become widely used, what more steps or conditions are still required? One of these is the extent to which cryptocurrencies can be utilized in everyday life as measured by the number of locations that are willing to take them as a form of payment. 
If a cryptocurrency can be used in day-to-day -day transactions, like traditional fiat currencies, it will be a very strong position to perhaps play a significant role in the future. This will put it ahead of the competition. Inflation of fiat currencies If the value of a fiat currency were to decrease, then the price of Bitcoin would increase relative to the value of the fiat currency. This is due to the fact that you will have the ability to purchase a greater quantity of that money using your bitcoins. This tendency is observable in modern times due to the fact that the Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, and other central banks have been creating an increasing amount of money while also holding interest rates at artificially low levels. Production Cost Another component that goes into determining the value of a cryptocurrency is its production price which includes both the direct costs and the opportunity costs. One example of a cryptocurrency with a high production cost is Bitcoin. It is possible to argue that the value of a Bitcoin can be attributed, at least in part, to the time, effort, and other resources that have been invested in its mining. This covers the cost of manufacturing specialist gear, such as CPUs, GPUs, or servers, in addition to the cost of cooling systems for such specialized hardware. Even though it may appear that the energy used to create new bitcoins is a waste of resources, this is in fact the only way to ensure the user's safety, as mining is the reason why governments are unable to easily shut down the bitcoin blockchain. Despite the fact that this may appear to be a wasteful use of resources, it is still the only way. However, conversations are taking place among programmers about ways in which the process might be made more effective. Regulation once cryptocurrencies have reached widespread adoption, there is a very good likelihood that governments will begin to regulate them. It is important to keep in mind that the implementation of these restrictions may result in the centralization of digital currencies. The value of a cryptocurrency would likely respond strongly to news like this. Regulations and the possible perception by governments that cryptocurrencies provide a security risk could, according to critics, lead to a reduction in the volume and scope of transactions. Some institutions might even go so far as to outright forbid them, as examples from Russia and China demonstrate. So, do you know about any other factors that contribute to a cryptocurrency's value? If so, please let us know in the comment section down below. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you like this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.